Webflow Landing Page Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to build a landing page in Webflow. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a stunning and effective landing page using the powerful features of Webflow, so let's get started. First, if you are new to the platform, you will need to sign up. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct sign up page. First, look for the Start Building button and click on it. After clicking on Start Building, you will be prompted to sign up for an account. Webflow offers two options for signing up, with Google or with your email. Choose the option that suits you best and proceed with the sign up process accordingly. Once you have personalized your Webflow account, you will be directed to your account interface. The interface is designed to provide easy access to various important tabs and features. At the top of the screen, you will find tabs such as Dashboard, Marketplace, Learn, Resources, Notifications, and Account. Creating a website landing page in Webflow is a straightforward process that allows you to unleash your creativity and design a unique online presence. To begin creating a landing page with Webflow's pre-built templates, navigate to the Dashboard tab and click on it. Once you're on the dashboard, look for the plus new site button and click on that. After that, you will be redirected to another page where you have the option to choose between creating a website landing page from scratch or customizing a pre-built template. For this tutorial, we will focus on the Webflow templates to create a landing page. Webflow offers both free and paid templates. Even if you are using a free trial, you can make use of any of the free templates. However, the paid templates require a purchase before they can be utilized. The available templates cater to various specific tasks, such as building a portfolio website, a business website, an e-commerce store, and more. You can choose a template that aligns with your requirements and preferences. Once you have selected a template that you like, simply hover over it and click on the Select button. A pop-up window will appear, prompting you to enter a name for your site. Input your desired site name and then click on the Create Site button. You will now be directed to the Webflow Website Builder page. This is where you can begin customizing your chosen template. The left navigation panel, top bar, and right panel provide you with the necessary tools and options to tailor your landing page to your liking. The left navigation panel in Webflow is a vital tool for customizing your website landing page to suit your preferences. It houses various important options that enable you to modify and manage different aspects of your site. These options include Add Elements, Components, Navigator, Pages, CMS, Users, e-commerce, assets, and settings. The Add Element option allows you to incorporate various types of elements into your landing page. You can add layout elements like sections, containers, grids, and columns. Additionally, you can include basic elements such as blocks, lists, and buttons. Typography elements like headings, paragraphs, and links can also be added. This section allows you to modify the layout of your site. In the Components section, you can add new components and manage existing components of your website. Components are reusable elements that can be easily added and edited across multiple pages of your site. The Navigator option helps you navigate between different sections of your website. It provides a convenient way to locate and access specific elements within your site's structure. The Pages section allows you to manage the pages of your website. You can organize and edit existing pages as well as create new pages and folders to structure your site's content. The CMS option allows you to view and manage the blog posts on your site. It displays a list of your blogs along with their names and status, and you can also see information such as creation, modification, and publication dates. In the Users section, you can manage the users who have access to your website. This includes controlling permissions, creating user accounts, and overseeing user-related settings. The e-commerce section enables you to add e-commerce capabilities to your site. You can add products, create categories, implement discount codes, and manage orders and subscriptions. The Assets section provides a centralized view of all the assets used in your website's creation. These assets are categorized into different types, such as images, documents, and Lottie animations, making it easier to locate and manage them. The Settings option allows you to manage various settings related to your website. This includes search settings, general site configurations, backups, e-commerce settings, and email-related options. Overall, the left navigation panel in Webflow offers a comprehensive set of tools and options to customize and manage your website landing page, empowering you to create a tailored and engaging online presence. 
In addition to the left navigation panel, the top bar in Webflow's Builder is a crucial component that provides access to important options for managing and customizing your website landing page. Within the top bar, you can find various tools and features that enhance your site building experience. One of the notable options in the top bar is the Page Menu, located at the top left side. By clicking on this menu, you can view and customize the pages of your website. This allows you to navigate between different pages, make edits, and manage the overall structure of your site. Additionally, the top bar offers the ability to preview your site in different device formats. You can choose to view your site in desktop, tablet, mobile landscape, and mobile portrait formats. This functionality allows you to assess how your site appears on different screen sizes and ensure its responsiveness and adaptability across various devices. Furthermore, the top bar provides settings related to the canvas. You can adjust the width and the scale of the canvas, allowing you to fine-tune the visual representation of your website landing page. The top bar also includes a vision preview feature which allows you to preview your site with different vision conditions to ensure accessibility and inclusivity. Another useful feature accessible from the top bar is the text zoom preview. This feature enables you to zoom in and out on text elements, specifically giving you a closer look at the typography and ensuring optimal legibility and design. Moreover, the right panel in Webflow is a key component that provides options and controls for customizing various aspects of your website. It is divided into four sections, Style, Element Settings, Style Manager, and Interactions. The Style section of the right panel allows you to customize the visual style of different sections of your website. Within this section, you can adjust the layout, spacing, size, background, borders, and effects on specific elements. This gives you the flexibility to fine-tune the appearance and design of your site, ensuring a cohesive and visually appealing user experience. The Element Settings section, also located in the right panel, enables you to manage specific settings related to individual elements on your website. Here you can control visibility and user access to particular elements, define custom attributes for elements, and modify editor settings for enhanced editing capabilities. The Style Manager section provides a comprehensive overview of the styles applied to different elements throughout your website. It allows you to manage and customize the styles applied to the body, headings, and paragraphs, lists, images, labels, and more. This centralized control ensures consistency in design and enables efficient editing across your site. Lastly, the Interactions section in the right panel empowers you to add animations and interactions to elements within your site. With this feature, you can bring elements to life by applying animations, transitions, and other interactive behaviors. This enhances the user experience and adds engaging visual effects to your website. After utilizing the website building tools in the left panel, top bar, and right panel to create your landing page, the next step is to publish it. Simply click on the Publish button and then choose the option Publish to Selected Domains. Within a few seconds, your landing page will be successfully published and you'll be greeted with a green button indicating Published Successfully. And there you have it, a beginner's guide on how to build a landing page in Webflow. There are more things to learn about Webflow, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.